up? Steven from Channel Pirates. I'm um, doing a little gear overview of what I'm going to be doing on the PCT 2017 through hike starting on April 27th. As we are Trail Pirates, we have coconut filled with delicious stuff that we might have on the trail. Uh, okay, we're going to start with the big four. First off, we got the pack. The big thing. We got the REI Traverse 70. Holds all my stuff. Uh, it was a gift for me from my girlfriend Heather. Great pack. Could have been a couple hikes on it. Moving on, next big thing which I will be carrying, but we'll both be sleeping in, is our Big Agnes Copper Spur UV, what is it, HVUL2. So it's a really good, uh, really lightweight pack, I mean, sorry, tent, uh, easy to set up and whatnot. Uh, next, my next big four is the Thermal Rest Z Light. Really light, kind of bulky, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hook it to the bottom of my tent, I mean, the bottom of my pack, and it's gonna be all good. Uh, I went for a cheaper version on the sleeping bag. Uh, I sleep pretty hot, so um, I just got a really cheap, small, compact one. I wanted to take up a lot of less space in my pack. So I got the Rover to buy um, 3D Loft, YK. It's, it, it's rated at, you know, lowest is 23. So uh, just in case, if I get too cold, because this is, does not work good for me, I did get like my... Let's just say my four and a half uh, on the big four. I got the Cocoon Mummy Liner. Uh, it's a silk one. Uh, it's really comfortable. I might end up just sleeping with this just in the desert in the first 700 miles. Like I said, I sleep really uh, hot, so I might just use this as a sleeping bag. We don't know. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the bigger, uh, our next stuff over here. We'll start off with the clothes that I'm gonna bring. Uh, I would like to reiterate that I am a little bit more prepared than some people because I like to bring some random stuff with me, but I've been hiking all my life, so there's stuff I like. It might not be uh, the same as what you like, but uh, this is what I'm bringing. First off, I got my Fleece Columbia jack uh, sweater slash jacket. Uh, even if it does get wet, it stays warm, which is really awesome. No matter what, you're going to be warm. And I can also cover it up with the poncho that I'll show you in a little bit. So that's gonna be like my really like sweater slash jacket. Uh, I got one good old button up REI shirt. Dries fast, has a bunch of pockets. Awesome shirt, I've used it on many hikes. Uh, it's still good, using it for years. Uh, I got a couple t-shirts I'm gonna bring with me, but I always, I've gotten these t-shirts from doing runs and Tough Mudder and all that kind of stuff. This one's from the Urban Athlon, this one's from the Tough Mudder. Dry fit, try really fast, get them wet, whatever. They're really great shirts. So I'm gonna bring these two with me. So those are my shirts. Moving on to the undergarments. So this is not a woman, I don't, need her, I don't need a bra or anything like what you saw in Heather's video. But I do need to take care of the undergarment of part of my life. Uh, I got some really like dry fit stuff also. I got my, <laughs> let's just be funny and show you, I got the Mad Bum. So you might see me out there wearing those. Uh, I just got some really like really breathable like Fruit of Balloon underwear. Also I have my uh, compression shorts that I've been wearing as I used to fight back in the day with MMA and stuff so I'm bringing those with me as well. Moving on to the pants. I have just good old Columbia, you know, conversion pants, also not cotton, so they can dry really quick. You can zip them off, make them into shorts. You can, sometimes what I also do is I just unzip the back. It gives you a nice little ventilation on your legs, so you get airflow up and down, you know, it's really nice. Uh, not sure if I'm actually going to bring these ones. I might, I probably, probably will end up bringing these ones, but these are some of my favorite board shorts. I figure board shorts dry fast. You know, if I just want to wear some shorts for a day, these will work really great. These ones I like a lot too because they have a lot of pockets and stuff. One downfall is you can't really put a belt in it, but it doesn't matter. I can figure it out because my pack probably pulled up my pants. Alright, still on clothes, but kind of footwear. Uh, socks. Okay, so I'm really big on foot, feet, just like Heather is. Uh, I really like to take care of my feet on the trail because it's obviously going to be the thing that keeps, keeps you going throughout the whole entire trail. So, some people don't believe in them, but I like to have a nice little good pair of synthetic liner socks. These ones probably look kind of dirty because I've used them for years, 
But they're great. They're really cheap. You can get them in REI for real cheap, like for like three or four bucks. I keep one, just one pair with me, just so I can wear them as I go. Uh, we, I just converted over to these darn tough socks, and these things are freaking amazing. They're really nice. They're really comfortable, and I feel like they're going to work really well for me on the trail. I got three different pairs. They're about all the same size, but I think I got Cool Max and then tough ones and stuff like that, too. Otherwise, I mean, you can always get, like, some random wool socks. Otherwise, but I'm going 2,650 miles. I want the good stuff for this one. I got some uh, Adidas, just some fleece gloves with the grip on the inside, just in case it gets cold. Um, you know, because the Sierra's going to be really cold this year because of all the snowfall and the snowpack going on. Probably going to need something for it, so I decided to get these. Pretty cheap. You can get them off Adidas for about, like, you know, 10 bucks. So I'll probably, I'm gonna bring these with me. Uh, cool gift Heather got me. We got the buff. Gonna be wearing this a lot. I love this thing. Makes me look like a pirate, you know, trail pirates. Uh, really cool. Covers my head, UV protection, all that stuff. Has a different, different, millions of different things you can do with it. Uh, before that, I'm still gonna bring it anyways. Before that, I always bought it on a bandana. And since we're doing this video on YouTube, this is the bandana I'll be bringing. Very good. Just in case, but uh, this is my bandana. I like to always have a bandana just in case. It has many different functions, things you can do with it. Wear it as a hat, neckerchief, whatever you want to do. Also, face towel. Always good to have, just to wash off your face and that kind of thing. Actually, one of my friends from my old job that I used to work in the parks with made it for me. Has my old call radio call sign number on it, Y53. Please don't make that my trail name. That would suck. <laughs> also, uh, got two dry sacks. Uh, just for the video, I'm using Heather's dry sack. Uh, I'm probably gonna get another one, but this one's mine. Uh, this is gonna hold all of my clothes. All the stuff that I just showed you right now is gonna be in one. And then the other one's gonna hold my sleeping bag and my cocoon liner and that sort of thing. And probably also food and that kind of stuff. If I can get it all into one. Trying to compact it, keep them compartmentalized throughout my pack. So that's the, those things. Moving on to footwear. I'm a big advocate of boots. I know people are saying trail runners. I know Heather wears trail runners and that kind of thing. But for me, I've always worn boots. With work, everything, I always found boots were the, my just go-to thing. I'd rather buy one really good pair of boots and just wear it throughout the whole entire hike. The myth about uh, ankle support is not a myth. Trust me. Who, I mean, think about a basketball player. I mean, they need to have ankle support too. It, it's it's a real thing. It works out if you if you wear the boots right and you get the right boots. It's really gonna work out. But on that softer note, I also am a big advocate of wearing sandals. Sandals are the best. I wear these things all the time. You got to keep your get air to your feet and all that sort of thing. I'll probably be hiking a lot in these as well. So, um, bigger, crazier stuff, I'll probably be in my boots, especially the Sierras and stuff, because you got to hook your traction to them, but these are going to be, like, my around camp. Also, probably hike a lot of miles with these as well. Moving down the list, we're going to get into our little gear section here. Let's just start with the poop section. I put it down there, but let's just start with the poop section. I got a poop trail. Super light, plastic, don't need too much. Some people will say they want to use stakes and... Use your pole to dig it or anything, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. So I want something ready to go when <laughs> I have to go. That in case of point, extra toilet paper. Probably also have body, uh, not body, but baby wipes in my pack, but this is like my emergency. Holy crap, literally, I need to take crap. Got my first aid kit, holds a bunch of stuff. I, I've been doing first aid and EMT stuff for a long time. Uh, I pack it with a lot of stuff like moleskin. I, I even keep my toothbrush in there so most of the time. You know, anything that you need for emergencies or anything that you might need just in case. So that's that. Also, if you need to know anything about the first aid kits, you can also ask us the Trail Pirates. Uh, either whether it's Heather's pack or mine, we can tell you. Moving on. Uh, I don't know why I always keep these in my pack, but they always seem to come in handy, whether it's wax, fire sliders or not. I like to keep a couple just random candles. You can rub it down on your zipper and stuff to preserve zippers on your jackets and stuff as well. 
Also, if you just need some little bit of light, good little safety candles to have with you. This is our, we'll be one of the, the filtration system that I'm going to be carrying. I'll probably be using Heather's most of the time, but this is our backup system. We got a Steri pin. These things are really cool. They filter your system through UV light. Uh, and then they come with this first filter, which we'll probably use a lot too, even with Heather's thing. Uh, this thing you can connect right onto your Nalgene bottle, and it just takes the water through, filters all the dirt out, and then you take the Steri pen and unscrew the top, stick it in there, let the UV light sit on the bottle for a while, and boom, you got some clean water. I've never gotten sick. Heather's never gotten sick. My friends were decept didn't really think it was going to work. Totally worked for them through the whole hike up in Yosemite to Half Dome, so that's really awesome. Sticking, I got extra batteries for the Steri pin. That's probably the only downfall for it is that it actually is battery powered, and uh, that's probably the only thing because it makes it a little bit more heavier, but it's a great backup system. Really great. Sticking with the water system, I have also the Platypus 2 liter container. I'll probably be filling that up with some water while we're in like desert areas and stuff like that. My trusty Nalgene bottle that has been with me through thick and thin, it's got to go with me. I don't care if it's heavy or not, it's still going with me. I've seen some crazy stuff happen to people's water bottles. Even a bear attacked my Scoutmaster's bottle and it actually survived. So this is coming with me. I'm going to steal Heather's little squeeze thing when we're out there. Just to have some extra water just in case I need to fill up some more. You know, This kind of goes with the first aid stuff. I kind of miss little things over here. Sunblock, always good. I got some good stuff from my uh, old job, so they're gonna have that hand sanitizer. Also can work to disinfect stuff. Probably not the best thing, but it also can keep yourself very clean. So I just got some of this cool stuff. I guess my cooking system. I mean, uh, Heather showed you in the last videos uh, our stove, which is gonna be the Snow Peak, the super light one that fits inside. I don't have that inside of mine right now, but also I have a Sierra cup. Just good for all around like cooking, measuring, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my dad always swore by it, so I had to get one. He, I ended up using his more than I he used it. So also, I'm thinking like a little like a mini pancake in there or something like that. Probably be really good. Super cheap, by the way, too. It's really easy. It's not that light. it's not that heavy either. Also, I got the GSI outdoors. I forgot it's like the ultra light one. One downfall is it doesn't have a handle on it. It's kind of reason why I wanted to get something with a handle on it so I can like maneuver it a little bit. But it pops off. It has the outside part that actually has the foam so it's not going to make it too hot. It has the top part to it so you can just slap it on and just sip your soup or whatever else you have. Hot cocoa, which I think is going to happen a lot. Still moving on with our cooking system. I keep a lot of stuff in it. It came with a really cool like spork. Still debating if I'm going to use this or not. It doesn't seem that durable, but it's worth bringing with you. It's only like probably like less than 0.1 of an ounce. This is a little thing that they gave you to actually pick up the, the whole entire thing. I'm bringing it with me just because. Also has a magnet on it which actually stays on the inside pretty easily and it also holds my lighter for me. So which happens? Let's go to our fire shutters that I have in here. Mini, regular, big, mini, lighter. Always good to have. Another thing that I ordered for me and Heather is our little flint and steel with magnesium. Let's see if we can get to work for the first time here. Anyway, doesn't matter. It works. We've done it like a million times together, but for the sake of the video, we'll just leave it where it is. Got the camel back. I'm gonna go in the back of my pack. Also, I think it goes up to a little over here. It goes to 2.5 liters on this one, so that's pretty good. This one's courtesy of the military. I just inherited it from when I was in the Navy. All right, moving on past the, some, moving on to some more little guys. It's got a poncho, always good to have. We're not gonna to carry too much rain gear. It's another thing like big, like rain jackets or anything like that. We're just gonna carry our warm stuff and then put a waterproof cover over us. Compass, very good to have at any time. I also have one on my watch, but also this is also could be a piece of gear if you want. It has altimeter, watch, barometer, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, Nissan Pathfinder, it's not the car. It's just, it's actually called a Timex Pathfinder, not Nissan Pathfinder. I'm sorry, I think of the car. Going down the list, got the good old headlamp. I'm actually pretty stoked to use this because I've always had just a hand lamp. 
has three different settings. Crazy bright. I'm not going to show you right now. I'll just blind the camera. Got some good old uh, sunglasses. My dad hooked me up with these. He used them for his motorcycle thing. I really liked them because they have the the foam on the inside that keeps anything out coming from the sides or anything like that, which will probably be really good for the snowy areas. Got the little strap on the back to make sure it doesn't fall off. Uh, also, polarized, you know, UV protection, all that good stuff. He got them for motorcycling, so I'm pretty sure they're going to work great. And they don't look bad on me. These are really epic for me because they're the e-chroma. Uh, sunglasses that are gonna that I'm probably gonna wear in most of the time just regular old you know Ray-Ban looking ones but they help me with my color blindness so I can see a lot more colors and it's gonna be a lot more vibrant for me but also UV protection 100% polarized 100% as I'd rather would say you see everything in HD now going down the electronics and gadget thing we got our solar powered uh, battery uh, I don't know, bank, I guess you can say. Uh, it has 10,000 megahertz, so it's pretty good and it doesn't charge too fast with the solar, but charges enough just in case you wanted to like charge it for a second and you need to make an emergency phone call. Great thing about this is that it also has a flashlight on the back, which also flashes SOS and all that kind of stuff. This little thing we're gonna bring because we're bringing some other cool stuff. GoPro, three thing, uh, three pronged stand, really cool. Got a clip for the GoPro. Which is being what's filming this now? We got our Delorm in Reach Explorer. I downloaded all the map on there. Uh, probably gonna put the waypoints and that kind of thing on there after that. Cell phone. I, I figured I might as well put that in there. I think guys, no one's calling me right now, but that is the cell phone that I will bring and what I'm using now. This is the book, that, uh, the data book that I'll probably be bringing. Even though it is 216, it just has like a very sentimental thing towards me because on the inside, my mom gave it to me, as you can tell, telling me to follow my dreams. Cracks me up every time, I mean, chokes me up, not cracks me up. So I'm going to probably be bringing that with me. Really awesome. Going to totally bring that with me. So we can have all the data. That's where I get all the data for all of our resupplies. So for me, when it comes to walking around and hiking around and all that stuff, I usually only bring one pole. This one I got courtesy of someone leaving it at my park that I worked at. Gonna be using this one most of the time unless Heather gets another new set because she's awesome and she's gonna give me another one. I'm just gonna use this as a representation of the ice axe that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get tomorrow. But, you know, she wanted to get the whippet that comes in and out. I mean, you just unscrew it and it goes down and up. You can carry it with you the whole time like an extra pole. Really awesome. You could just self-arrest with it just in case you need to. Got my micro spikes. And like Heather said, there's a lot of people going between crampons and micro spikes. But I figure by the time that we get up there, there's probably going to be less snow. We'll probably have to worry about more about river crossings and stuff like that because the snowpack is going to melt a lot. You know, fingers crossed. Plan on getting up there kind of later. Well, later than most. So We got gators. Always a good thing to have when you're hiking. I've, everybody's always talked about them for me, and I never bought them, but now I'm actually stoked to use them. I tried them on with the, even the micro spikes, and these things will keep everything out of your boots and keep your feet dry. So, good purchase. We're going to have it with there. And little thing that I break to bring with me my Spider Man retractable pole. I don't have the tackle with me right now, but this is basically the pole I'm going to bring with me. I know a lot of people will be like, ditch the pole, man. It's too heavy, all this other crap, but. When you're saying that, uh, me and Heather are going to be eating delicious trout. So, um, yeah, come by our camp and we'll have some trout. You know, trail pirates, that's what we do, we fish. I've been doing it all my life, and I've caught more fish than you could think on this, in the Sierras. And since there's going to be so much water out there, I figure, heck yeah, I'm bringing that. So anyways, that's most of my gear. Uh, do you have any questions? I know I'm kind of sporadic sometimes, but... Comment below. We're the Trail Pirates, man. Steven signing out. See you on the trail.